We are live. You got back just in time. How's everybody doing tonight? Let's see. Before we start talking, everybody give me a five by five. Let me know that uh, the sound is okay. Uh, let's see who we got here. We got we got the Terminator. Good evening, G, Mr. G, and Yo. Well, here. Hey, Ambra. Hey, Ambra. What do got? Wild Leaks, Onions, waiting for you live to come on. Okay. Nice. Lan, I need to call you, man. I need I need to talk to you about something. The book. Oh. Wow. We got Tamra Howdy from Texas. And okay. as Yoda was saying, look what she has on. You'll explain that in here in a little bit, won't you? Sure. And let's see, Homestead Twins, Mossy Oak Parrot. Do you know who that is? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know who that is now. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Oh, uh, what did you do with all of that um, electrical wire? It's in the back of the house. Okay, I need to let everybody know. Come get it. I think we're storing theirs though for a little bit. Uh, Beth family, how are you this evening? And uh, let's see here. Uh, call anytime. You sound like a Blondie song from the '70s, man. <laughs> call me. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, how, I hope everybody had a great week. Uh, go ahead and, and, and post it in the chat. Remember, get into live chat if you're not already in live chat because only only creeps and geeks stay in top chat. I'm in a good mood. I'm sorry. Apparently you are. I'm extremely tired. <coughs> I'm tired. Yeah, Tambra, Tambra finally ma mailed it. Yeah, the girl, you're like me. The things just sit. I've got to get baby girl's birthday present mailed out. I haven't done that yet. you got another birthday coming up this week, too, that you need to say hi for. Hi Ooh. to. Excuse me? This week? Yeah, on Friday. Who's? Your eldest? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. God. Such, a oh good, my God. such a good mom. Oh. Rosie, how's it going? Well, like I said, I hope... See, the kids get grown, and then it's all about the grandkids. <laughs> Look, they get, he's going to get the $25 gift card, and he, he can spend it however he wants. So, I, I seriously, I hope everybody had a good week. Our week was really busy. It was it was interesting. Yeah. Um, it was different. Uh, but want, a good different. No, it was. It was good different. Yeah. You want to tell them what we did this last weekend? Yeah. So we, um, this last weekend, we went to Kiowa. Kiowa or, where? Uh, Colorado. Kiowa, Colorado. Did not know there was a Kiowa, Kansas. Apparently there's a Kiowa, Kansas. But we were in Kiowa, Colorado. And um, so we spoke out there. I did food preservation. Um, and then because we were stumbling with the, the um, fender tent, um, you did the escaping the system on your own. Mm -hmm. And um, man, I had never, it was very, very interesting because- Well, first, before you get there, tell them what- You don't the, even know where I was going. What the event was. Oh, it Start was Self-Reliance Expo. The Elbert County Self-Reliance Expo. Yeah, which um, part of uh, Prepper Expo. And so we were out there doing that. Kiowa, Kiowa is 30 minutes southeast of the the denver suburbs of, about of 45 minutes denver parker. Parker, parker colorado which is now much to my chagrin part of the denver metro area man i know why they're upset yeah i know why they're upset we but came it, in there i could not believe the housing projects going up it, it looks like california yeah just unbelievable but the the self-reliance expo was held in, in the the Fairgrounds, mm -hmm. the fairgrounds. Um, I, I'm going to say this about the venue. I was not standing in dirt, and I was not standing outside. It was good. So <laughs> I was extremely happy. Yeah, was After good. the last three three festivals, um, yeah, it was it was it was a nice change of pace. Yeah, Skeins, Skeins shows up. Hey, hey, and it's always nice too because I was apologizing for the labels because we had so much Kentucky dirt and Tennessee dirt on everything. And um, it was really, really neat because everybody's in that prepper mindset mm -hmm. and they're like, well, surprise. Well, then I don't want it. And so then they buy 10. So it was all good. <laughs> Nobody cared. It was all good. So, but we do need to figure out something different. I just don't so know tell everybody doing. your thoughts on the vibe of the whole thing of what was going on this weekend. 
there actually it was saturday right it was just it was saturday. it was a one day affair it was several days for us because we had to travel which then. again was kind of unusual a, yeah. one, a one day affair yeah and i actually suggested they do two days mm -hmm. next time i don't know if they're going to be able to but i did suggest that um i think they would have pulled in a lot more traffic and um man no it was good the vibe there there's a lot of people that are frustrated a lot of people that they're starting out they're trying to figure it out they want to know everything and unfortunately that fear that paralysis by fear is setting in so that's one of the things we talked about and i kind of i had 30 minutes to lay it out and 15 minutes for a question and so i just laid everything out from curing smoking uh canning and freeze dryer and fermenting and all of that and then um just kind of said now pick one and learn that nobody's going to be an absolute expert on it but learn that and then go to the next step so figure out what you want to do first um i actually had a gal pulled me aside afterwards and um, she was worried about the bunghole on the chicken when butchering chicken. And so I had to like try to figure out, I didn't have a pen with me because uh, I wanted her to see it. And so, you know, because women were more visual mm -hmm. people. <clears throat> and so they had a little sign up, you know, don't knock this over or whatever. And um, so I was able to show her on that. And I, I looked at her, I said, does that make sense? And she goes, yeah. So hopefully that Hopefully that made sense, but I did Three let everybody cuts, know. two fingers and pull it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, absolutely not necessary if you're quartering it, but if you want everything uh, whole, then yeah, you've got to remove that. So, because um, it'll sour everything. So I, I kind of walked her through that. Well, so maybe that's something for Kiowa next time is maybe having a butcher class. Like we you got to talk to them. Things. Okay, so here's here's my thoughts on that. I'm not sure they are ready for that. I know that there are people there that are ready for it, but the community as a whole, I'm not sure how well that would go. Over. I think you're wrong. You think so? Yeah, I think you're wrong. Well, here, I think they are ready for so it. So my my take on a lot of the people there, there was a lot. It's, it's a rural area, but there are a lot of suburban type people there. Mm -hmm. I, I don't agree with that. You don't that. think so? Mm -mm. Uh, no. that's, that's I don't agree I, with I, that yeah. just because I, I talk to most people. And um, I would say <clears throat> that, if anything, a lot of people got that I talked to got the fact that they needed to go back to basics. Well, they can, and, get, the, they can get that, but I the vibe um, I was getting was suburbanites. Oh, I don't think so. I there think were not they, a lot of country people there. I don't think that's true either. No, I I just don't I think that will. I there mean, were a lot of preppers. I don't know who was in your class, but those were not the ones in my class. And so. There were a lot of preppers there. It, it was a more prepper centric crowd, would you say? No. With the vendors and everything? Vendor wise, um, I would say it was 50 50. Hey, Zach. Y'all need yeah. to check out Unique Prepping with Zach. He's, he's, a, he's a monster. So. Uh, but anyway. that's interesting that you came away with a different view than I did because I would totally do that again. And no, I, I would do it again too. Yeah. But that was one of the things I said. I think I would take try to take a couple days extra, and then we would definitely see my cousins Megan and Jason. Okay, so here's here's my take on it. And if you're if you're from if you live there around Kiowa or or Colorado, do not take this the wrong way because it's not meant that way. The there's a there's a a mentality in Colorado that is very crunchy granola. Even the quote unquote conservatives are kind of crunchy granola. I've never met so many adults with so many allergies. I don't think that's crunchy granola, what it is. And so I actually had this conversation with someone and it hit me and um, they are so spread out. So they're so far away from a general warehouse. So you're not really getting a lot of fresh food unless you're growing it. And we had this issue when we were on the way out there because we had to stop and eat. And I, I'm like, okay, I'll just get the healthiest thing that I can. And it made me sicker than a dog within, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And did I you get finally, gassy? well, no, no, I mean, I was sick. And oh, that so, was Red Robin that made you No, that what I don't even know why you're like that way. but Well, um, it made me gassy too. Red Robin is... And so... So anyway, I could definitely tell my gut was off and it was like, I do not like what you're putting in, in your body and um, stop it. 
And so it was very, very interesting. Um, I figured it out talking to somebody. Everything is so spread out. There's not a big warehouse. They have to put those preservatives in there or they're going to lose all that food because they're so spread out. Very, very interesting. But it was also interesting because, I mean, why aren't they u utilizing their local farmers? Why aren't they utilizing their local gardeners? I was talking to people that were growing in their greenhouses 365 days out of the year. So, and I, we were driving from between Lyman and Kiowa, and I was looking at all the farms that we went by, and I was- No chickens. I, no chickens. You, you drive Saw around- an antelope. You drive around here, and you can see chickens in people's yards. And admittedly, the yards are much bigger and everything, but still- And in the streets. But <laughs> still, but still, you can see the chickens from the road. Yeah. Did not see any chickens out on these ranches or anything. No and, one. And who was it? Can squash. Yes. Eastern Colorado is very, very desolate. I will say this, though. The, the front range in the foothill, foothill area out by Kiowa and Elizabeth, mm -hmm. very pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very pretty. Once you once you get past the uh, vast expanse of no trees, it's it's yeah. very pretty. You know, and you can see, we. in fact, we were talking, coming across... Uh, 68 you got or 86 86 you you got to the point where you could see pike's peak and it was like it was like wow could you imagine traveling months across the prairie being on a wagon and seeing and, and then coming across the coming across the top of a ridge mm -hmm. and seeing pike's peak out in the distance and it it's a good what 80 miles away yeah you know timber there's no chickens because that is more um ranching so the chickens are farther up north from what we understand that's how it was explained to yeah. us. So they're doing more cattle there and that kind of thing. Um, we saw sheep. There were sheep there. Yeah. I didn't see any goats. So more cattle and sheep. And then the farther you go, it's grassier. But I did find it on because they're on a large aqueduct. I mean, it would be perfect for chickens. Aquifer. 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 And so it would be perfect for chickens. I'm not really sure they've why got, they've they're They've got a not. good source of water there if you drill a well. Um, and they don't have to fight the bears. They don't have the bear problem there that they have the farther north. The occasional and cougar. Occasional. And, and but we have that here. Not like not like Megan and Jason who had to bear proof right. their chicken coop. There's a video. <laughs> there's actually a video. One of the first ones we did about her cousins bear proofing their chicken coop. Uh, it, it's like a whole new, whole new different level of of homestead or whatever you have to do yeah. that. But. Uh, you know, and that was the other thing. Uh, Friday night, we, okay, we we forgot about the time change, so we got there way early. Way early. Hey, would hey. you stop, Dolly? So we got there way early, and we chilled out. Well, and the drive said it was going to take longer. It didn't take yeah. that long, so I'm not sure. I think speed limit changed, and that's that's one of the things I laugh about the speed limit. We'll share that later. Yeah, I, I agree. The, the the western slope and the eastern slope are two different countries. Yeah, they are. Uh, but anyway, so we met we met some online friends and became in person friends. Mm -hmm. We had dinner with uh, Dale and Lisa from Survival Prepper. Mm -hmm. um, fantastic people. Seriously, the I really like her. Yeah, you're not allowed to play with her. I'm if they come out to Midwest Preparedness Festival, yeah, you are not allowed to play Yes, with no, I'm totally calling no. her because her and I are going to do an interview and we're thinking like... What's up, Spags? Total <laughs> conspiracy theory and that kind of thing and just from a woman's perspective and I think we can nail it. And so her and I are probably going to be doing some videos yeah. together. So, but we, Like we said, we ate it, brown, or Red Robin. Red Robin. You know, we eat at the local cafe here and at the local, the local restaurants. And uh, it's all farm food. I don't have any problem with it. Red Robin, yeah, it it jacked my stomach up. And well, that's what I'm saying. I think it just takes too long. You know, remember what you talk about with the transportation and the link on getting food. I really think that chemicals is part of that. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, we just have to plan better. And we we actually stayed in Parker. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was a kid, Parker was out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it wasn't even on a major highway. Now it it's on, now. now it's on a belt highway for Denver. And as she said before, it looks like California. The thing, <laughs> the thing that got me about it 
is the amount of people wearing masks in 2024. Denver, Colorado. Is it? See what it is. Yeah. You know, the amount of people, the amount of people wearing masks was amazing in Parker. Um, around here, if you see somebody wearing a mask, it sticks out. It sticks out because it's so unusual out there. It was the norm, norm, seriously. Uh, let's see. So we got up, we went early Saturday morning and set up for the, uh, set up for the festival. It was interesting. The, the venue is actually two buildings separated by a large horse arena and the vendors were in one building. Who was that? Steve. Steve. From Kyle. Oh, really? He didn't realize that we were on live. Oh. He's like, I know you're busy. I've got a couple questions. So he's like, I can't find that was, you. That was and one I of the organizers like, from the festival. Yeah, I, was, I was like, here, here, go here. And then you can ask us whatever. And I'll answer. But anyway, so we, we got set up and it, it was very interesting because the, the vendor hall was very small and the, the area that we spoke in was a little bit bigger, but they had a, they had it separated by these big stand up panels. Well, they had the classroom too. So there were three stages. Basically. All right. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was very different. And your, your talk, I'm not going to say class because we didn't teach anything. We shared our experience. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we've got the, the heart of a teacher and the soul of a student. <laughs> okay. I've been, I've been working on the books. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some, some, some constructive stuff. Yeah. But so your class was pretty full and you took a lot of aids with you too, didn't you? Aids. 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 Yeah. Visual aids yeah, and, and handouts. Yeah. 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 And that worked out really well. And, um, so everybody was kind of blown away by the banana bread in a jar. You guys, if you're on here, you've seen me do that. Um, and they were really, really kind of blown away by that. So everybody took one. We only came back with three jars. So I guess that's good. And then I see you've been working on the, the other jars. So there's only I one had left. one. Yeah. Yeah, two. No. I only had one. Don't blame me. No. And so, um, but yeah, so no, we, uh, it was good. It was really good. But every single chair about was full. So. You know, you know, Zach, you, you bring up a good point. So he says, I'm so dis distasteful to be part of, of Colorado. It's disgraceful because my heart is freedom. We heard that a lot. There's a lot of people in Colorado that do not like the direction the state is going. And all I can tell people is don't run away because people are moving so much now. And we're guilty. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. We're guilty. We, we left Missouri and came to Kansas. I'll get that second. Um, but but we have to stand and we have to fight seriously okay so micro for a healthy life okay consuming first meal via the rock pot thought out a small roast yesterday uh, that's potatoes salt pepper beef broth and a very end tossed in a, a fresh oyster mushroom that sounds really that good that sounds great uh, uh, that's hg he's on the wrong he's on the wrong way uh, you know what we we did a demo of the rock pot there were some issues, weren't there? I forgot to add water. And so I was doing a roast and I forgot to add water. Okay, so big thing about the rock pot is read the instructions. No, no, no. So there's no, so that was not it. I was trying to go by what um, uh, what he sent me mm -hmm. and he was like, here, do this, do this, do this. And so well, and I did else? everything right. What else I just did didn't do? add, I just did not add the water which needed to steam the vegetables at or, the top. Or broth, which like HG just Or said. broth, yeah. But what else did so you So I didn't know that. What I, else? Mean, and this I is don't important. even know this what is, you're talking about. This, the second time, how many pounds of, of wine did you put oh, in Oh, I put too, I put too much in. She had way too much food in there. But, however, we got home and when we got home, we opened it up and oh man, that was the most tender tenderloin I had ever yeah, had. Yeah, she let it, it, it sat good. in the back of the trailer for eight hours. It did not take us eight hours to get home. It was no. six and a half. Seven and a half. You say that, but it, an hour of that was waiting with the police officer. So. Well, and we'll get there. We'll get to that story. We'll get to that story. So anyway, so you your talk went really well. Yeah. People received it really well. Yeah. And then I gave my talk. There weren't quite as many people in my talk as hers. And you I didn't have all the seats full. No, nah, there were a couple that were empty. 
and I black pilled the hell out of some people, and I told them I was going to black pill them, and, but it was really well received. Um, you know, it's it's my talk was nothing new. It's nothing that we haven't not said before. Um, just as a bunch of people that hadn't heard it before, and I don't know about about your class, your uh, talk, like. Mine was split 50-50, new people and experienced people. In fact, I had one I had one girl before the talk started that asked me about what the system was. And I explained it to her, and she said, okay, I know what your talk's going to be about now because I understand what the system is. And she walked off and left. Really? Yeah, she just completely left it. It's kind of weird. Uh, you know, I, no, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. It was a little weird, but I, I kind of get it. Uh, let's see here. Thinking about making peach cobbler for potluck. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good. Okay. One's not going to be enough though. So Cartoon so. King. I was. I watched as a lamb broke the sixth seal. Oh, really it, it, it's that time. Yep, rapture. Yeah. Okay. What the hell's that? Is that one of the goats? No, that's something weird. I don't know what that is. One, one of the animals outside making some weird noises. I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, anyway, but they, they received it really well. And I had several people come up afterwards and, and ask me some more questions, which was which was nice. And, and everybody said that they really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I think we got a winner there. Okay. Zach says, guess what? So instead of uh, using raised beds this year, I'm going to have a little, have a tilled garden in the backyard. Hopefully this will... Be a sustainable success. Absolutely. Okay. Speaking of tilling, well, we'll get there in a second. Let's finish up talking about. Uh, let's start. Stop. Let's finish up talking about Kiowa. So, at the end of the day, what was your take on it? I liked it, and I think we made some good connections. I think that um, we met some good people, um, <clears throat> and I think if anything, hopefully. Um, they'll be able to utilize us in helping their journey go forward and they don't have well, to make the mistakes that we make. And there's a lot of people there mm -hmm. wanting to create community. And to what, to what Gregory asked, uh, were there people uh, that attended from the metro area? Yes, there yes. were. There were people from all over the metro area. That... And had been at other festivals as well. Right. So... Well, and we didn't realize there's, there's like the Longmont Prepper Festival. Mm -hmm. There's another, there's Loveland. another one. The what? Loveland. The Loveland Prepper Festival. The, there's a guy that uh, mountain retreat in North in North Carolina. They're they're trying to start something akin to the Rocky Mountain retreat retreat, which is going to be spring of 2025. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's not like it wasn't a it it, it wasn't a one off thing. There were a lot. There apparently there's a lot of these things that go on on the front range. There was, there's actually a guy, Dan, um, and he brought me some cards. I'm going to try to get his cards over to tag. Um, he had a really great system. So it was water catchment and the solar runs on the water catchment and the way that they've set it up, it can actually spread and you get the hot water. You can heat your floors with it, the whole nine yards or use it in your sink or whatever. Um, but it's splittable and on your homestead, if you have other people, other cabins and mm -hmm. that kind of thing, it's splittable and it can go to those. So I was just going to kind of turn that over to Tag and kind of see if that's maybe something that could go along with grid down or something like that. Um, I would be interested. Yeah, in and I don't know about you. I've been, I've been sending emails out left and right since we got back to introduce people. Yeah. yeah. You know, hopefully we can yeah. make some connections. And I'm not, not going to lie. Um, at the end of the day, I would rather travel to the Front Range and Southern Nebraska and Northern Arkansas and Oklahoma than traveling across the Mississippi River. Seriously, I, I I would rather do that if we could if we if we could do the same thing financially, doing that as we do the other way, I would not have a problem changing our changing our our schedule. Except for then I don't get to see my family. What family? My family and friends. Which family? And friends? I've got Amanda and John and Nicole and okay. Homestead Medical. Well, maybe and... you can just take off for a weekend and go. <laughs> and... I'll stay here and watch the animals and you can go. No, I'm going. So anyway, so we left. We left at about 6.40 local time. Came back. My feet hurt. I did not sit down all day long. And my feet hurt so bad that when she started driving, I could not go to sleep. Yeah. Because my feet hurt. 
I told you to put the salve on. I said, throw a comfrey salve on there. It'll be yeah. good. And you didn't do so it. We drove back, and it was a decent drive. Uh, got to Junction City. We switched drivers, and we had a very nice encounter with Officer Boyd from the Junction City Police Department. <laughs> it was it was 1.30 in the morning, and they were pulling people over for speeding in a construction zone. And I'm not going to lie. I had just taken over. He had just taken over, so he didn't realize that we were in a construction zone. No, no, I knew. I didn't care. I saw. Did I, you not know what the speed limit? I was? saw them on the other side of the road. Oh yeah, no, she's like, she's like, I was just trying to figure out if you were still awake. She goes, raspberries, blueberries, everything up in the up in the sky. Well, no, because we saw them coming the other way. And she said raspberries and blueberries. I know. And they were over here. Like you. So what? You didn't think they were going to turn around. There were two of them. Here's the deal: if you've ever been on that, it was if 60 you've ever miles been on, an hour, and he was doing seventy-five. And no, I, I was doing at, seventy. And I looked at him, and I said, "You do realize you're in a construction zone, and it's sixty here." And he was like, "Huh?" And he kept going. And here's then the deal: all of a sudden, woo. that section of I seventy heading east, when you when you get to Junction City, it's an uphill grade for about. 15 miles. Man, I thought we were going to go to jail, though. I'm not going to lie. And, so, well, because why? Well. Not because of me. No, it wasn't. Whose fault was it? It was mine. Anyway, so I'm I'm trying to get that, that pig up to speed, and I hit 70. I was like, I ain't slowing down. I'm pretty and it's, sure. And it's 120 in the morning, 130 in the morning. 115. I see the, I see the cop on the other side, and I, I wasn't thinking. I'm not going to lie. And all of a sudden, the lights come on, and I pull over. So we go to look for insurance, and guess what's not in the truck? I didn't have to look for insurance because I knew it wasn't in there. I don't worry about putting insurance in the truck because I don't have to have it here. And so, you know, and I Apparently even told her, you do. well, no, you have to have it there. And so, so she was like, I said, well, well what else you, were they looking for? I said, can't you just look in, in the computer? I, and she goes, no, it doesn't work like that here. And I go, well, back home, they can just look in the computer. And she's like, it doesn't work like that here. And I'm like, crap. And she's like, can you pull it up on your phone? Why would I have it on my phone? And well, it so, is on your phone now. Because you, it's, it's Kyle's in, the Gmail. in it. It's yeah. in the Gmail. So now, why would I have it on my phone? And then I'm like, well, she's like, can you get it? It's 1.15 in the morning. If I called Kyle at 1.15 in the morning, he'd probably shoot me. This he would. And so, you know, so I'm like, Actually, no. Skeens, they had four of them working the construction zone. Well, and then probably more. We just didn't. See and then anything. we were. She was very. The, the young she lady was so cute and so was nice, so polite. And she, she made a comment. She said, "Is that a YouTube logo on on your on your trailer?" And we we're like, "Yeah." And she's like, "She's like, are you, you got a YouTube channel?" So we're like, "Yeah." We're, in fact, we're coming back from the Kiowa Prepper. She's like, "Are you big Prepper YouTube stars?" And we're like, "No, no, we are not Prepper." <laughs> so she ended up. She's got a standing invite. Yeah. In fact, I I, I was thinking, Midwest. I was thinking about it. I may go on their the Junction City website and see uh, if I can't find her email uh, and shoot her an email. I I told her flat out that we were going to talk about her tonight, and she was like all giggly about it. Did she know she was, her and her sergeant were going to look us up. She was she was really cool and and oh there was something else missing from the truck. Did you get that taken care of? Um, no. You're killing me. I know. I need to. You're I didn't killing go me. to I town. Cannot be I know. I didn't go to town today. Somebody I totally forgot yesterday. Somebody did not have their registration. registration. Luckily, we just re-registered a month ago. So she's like, I can assume that it's you've got insurance and registration because because the the sticker on it. It's like, yeah, there's there's been no DUIs or, or driving while stuck. Well, they like literally scanned everything to make sure that everything was good. And so luckily we're not criminals, but um, no warrants yeah, and look, that kind of thing. But the look, way the way she was talking the like the best life, the best life said that you you're riding dirty. Was I riding dirty? Yes, you were riding dirty. I just don't have to look. Our son's a police officer. I don't have to worry about it down there. And I know that they can look me up. I pretty much know a lot of people here and they can look me up. I just didn't think about going to different states and stuff. So I'll, I'll get it. I'll you, get, like, you know what? Gregory, everything's registered. It's all legal. You know, Gregory, I, I'm, you, so during the encounter, I, did, I did, did not want to give her any more information than necessary. But once she was pulling, but it'll show she, she was, was pulling for, she was pulling hard. Mm -hmm. Um, once once she was like, okay, I'm going to let you go. Please get this taken care of. Things changed, and I was like, 
she was really cool about it. So I was like, you need to come out to Midwest Preparedness Festival. You need to check it out. Well, when she figured out that she was kind of into the prepper lifestyle yeah. kind of thing. You know, but, but so no, Officer Boyd from Junction City, Kansas was, was really cool. Yeah. So we got home. What time did we get home? I don't. Two it was like 2.30. 30. Just, just getting home at, just getting home really late sucks. I'm seriously. We I'm, always get home late. You know, I slept until what, 9.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was up at 9. Well, actually, I was up at 6, and then I went back to sleep until till 9.30. Mm -hmm. um, spent Sunday uh, gar doing gardening stuff, basically. Cleaning up the messes that happen when you're not there and, mm -hmm. and doing all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I, overall, the weekend was a good weekend. Got yeah, to, except for the incubator, we lost them. I'm not uh, quite we sure didn't, why we, didn't we lost leave. that incubator. Something fell on the incubator and busted the glass. Whether human or pot, I'm not quite sure. Something hey, there's, happened. There's another country heard from. What's that? Miss Kiri. Hi, hi. Oh, Kiri. I was in the beef jerky dip. <laughs> and you also used you also used the the other stuff. For oh, you. yeah. Chicken. So I was doing, no, not for chicken. Uh uh. That caramel sauce goes on the pork. So I've been doing pork butts, getting the tamales and stuff oh, ready in the barbecue. And so, hang yeah, on. that's all on since, there. Since Kiri popped in. No, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on a second. What guys. are you doing? There it is. There it is. Boom. If you guys want some of the best, the best sauces and dips, dips and everything, kind of stuff. Go to thunderhillfarm.com. We that. should do a commercial for it. I thought about doing that while I was running. Look, if she, the wants, if she wants to sponsor us, mm, we'll, we'll pimp her out. Her. We're pimping her out we'll now. We'll pimp her and Glenn out. <laughs> We're pimping them out now. Um, yeah, yeah, Tamara, it was really bad because some, something fell on it, knocked the glass down, the fan hit one of the eggs, eggs. was so, not spinning. So it I got had like hot. scrambled the eggs going in the incubator when I found it. And like, yeah, a really weird. I walked in and I'm like, what is that smell? And so literally since Sunday, it's been, find that smell. It's been a game. Well, and I noticed and you so, put the thing out there and left it for me to take out to the burn. No, actually, uh, I, on the, but you wanted it back there, right? Yeah, on the, on the big burn one? Pile. Yeah, so no, I wasn't going to do that. I thought I was going to go ahead and save it, thinking maybe Hacks wanted it. He could create an incubator because the fame and stuff should still yeah. be good. Your dog knocked it down last night. I don't think it was the dog. I think it was the storm. No, it was your dog. Anyway, so, you're, you're, but that fan and the indicator and that should still be good. So uh, maybe save that portion. I'll talk to him and see if he wants it. He may not even want it. Right. He doesn't have time for that. You know, but we, uh, skins, I hate playing, playing smell. Oh, uh, playing, find that smell sucks. Yeah. Uh, I even got in and cleaned some of the refrigerator because I was like, okay, I started at one corner of the kitchen and like, skins and Jonathan are coming to stay with us in, in a week and a half. And I'm like, trying Is to go through. Is it a week through. and a half? Yeah. Seriously? I think so. I think it's pretty wow. close. Yeah. And Time flies. so I'm like trying to figure out, trying to get things set up and, you know, just kind of, cleaner not as cluttered and so yeah nothing ever gets clean here yeah i know not as cluttered is what i mean not we live as on a dirty. dirt road we live on a dirt road it is what it is but everybody knows that that stays here so um i was trying to go through but yeah no i'm gonna be playing the game tomorrow too so no not a not a week yeah a week and a half apparently is it yeah no 17 three weeks Closer to three weeks. No, because that no. week, that so you're thinking of the weekend, but that week we actually go out there, Look, right? Are you arguing with skeins? Do not argue with the skeins. Week and a half. No, seriously. Like, it's the first full week of May. So the one week in What's May. What's today? Two. Today's the 15th. 16th. Oh, so two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Three weeks. It's not three. Like, that Saturday three weeks. is three weeks. Shush, woman! <laughs> Saturday. Uh, I got a free commercial incubator. I, uh, I just had to carefully remove a two-year-old. Oh my god! Remove what? I can't. A two-year-old egg that Oof. was left in it. Oh. They become explosive at that point. Mm -hmm. I have found that out the hard way. Yeah. You touch it, and it's like. Uh, I was gonna have an egg sandwich for supper. It changed my mind. <laughs> good, good choice. <laughs> good choice. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I still got to finish my coop edition, uh, hide my treasure chest and pack. There you go. Um, 
So anyway, we got back. Sunday Sunday was a, a semi-productive day. I got some more plants planted. The last last couple of weekends have been really nice because I've been doing homestead stuff. Okay. I haven't been cleaning. I haven't been doing non-homestead stuff. I've been actually doing stuff that I honestly feel like it moves us forward. Well, and it's going to because Jonathan and Skeins are coming and Skeins is damn determined that that spare nope. bedroom that is not is getting done. Stuff. It is. No, that is picking that is I fishing mean, it ship is. is broke. Don't well, start all you have to do is get that window pulled all and I get that shut in pretty. and then get that closet done. Tell me how much drywall to get and then I'm going to be making cinnamon rolls for a festival. There you go. And they want to be working on Yes, there. they pop like firecrackers. I was handling them like an old time TNT until I got outside. Yeah. Been there. Yeah, yep. You know, and then and then last night did some more. I was going to add I had a full list of stuff I was going to do. We had some really heavy rain roll in last night and it it actually didn't start till like 6. It was supposed to start at midnight, but it didn't really start raining until 6. This morning. This morning. Yeah. But I spent a good three hours on the uh, skid loader last night, scraping all the the dirt with the uh, bamboo roots in it. And the, the the garden area actually is to a point now to where I can start cleaning it by hand. Uh, we got some blueberries we needed to uh, plant and some- I need to get with Nikki and we need to start planting. Huckleberries? Is that the fruity huckleberries? huckleberries? The, the plants you got- Honeysuckle? Uh, honeysuckle. She bought some. She, she bought some uh, fruity honeysuckle, which I'd never heard of. So we're gonna we're gonna put those on. Let's see here. Uh, what does Skin say? Gee, I wasn't trying to pressure you. Just arguing my. Oh sure, right. You're female. He, You're a female. Joking. You're pressuring. He's joking. Jonathan said the same thing. So I mean, don't do that. Jonathan's but, kind of a female too at times. Oh my god! Like seriously, stop. No, you know what, Skeins? Seriously. No, he actually said he welcomes the help. Any, so, seriously, yeah. Skeins, any any help is appreciated. Uh, let's see here. When I did a lot of flipping houses, often very old, nasty stuff in the refrigerators, a gas mask from Home Depot was very helpful. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I was helping a guy rehab a house in Independence, Missouri, and it turns out that it was a crack house. And the basement, we did not realize it was a crack house. Um, we had a couple of nights where we ended the nights feeling very sick, sick very yeah. sick and different. The heck was that? The wind. Is that the wind? That's the wind. It's really weird. But that's kind of creepy sounding. Mm -hmm. But uh, the ghosts are coming out. Don't say You're that. You're talking about taking care of the back of the house. Don't say that. Look, she she jokes like that. She jokes like that, and I wanted a priest to come out here and and exercise this place. And then I wanted, I talked to the the elders at the the nation, and since this was Indian land, I wanted them to come out and cleanse the land. And the the one lady was like, you know, if if you don't if you don't really believe that, you probably should not do that. And and so I was like, okay, I get it. I don't want to I don't want to disrespect their their religious beliefs, but. Oh look, look, Tamara. Tamara's got got spooky stuff going on too, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, it did. Oh, it sure did. Yeah. So I'm used to it. He's not used to it. Oh, but we I also have the wind coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I'm used to it. Yeah. When we first moved in here, it was very interesting because things would literally just move off the shelf and drop for no reason at all. So, okay. So I can tell you, it. I can tell you why the door opened. We have that back door open. We've, we've got the back door open. We've got this, this sliding door open. And that, so there's a breeze coming through mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So someone might have come in. Well, yeah. you know what? They are more than welcome. <laughs> they, they are more than welcome. As long as they don't mess with the tamales. I got tamales don't going on right touch. now. Don't touch the tamales. Don't touch stuff. Right. I was going to use a different word. Nope, don't don't touch anything, don't do anything, but you're welcome to have a seat. So we got we got a ton of rain last night, which is really did you yeah, see it was that, good. Did you see that the, the creek was flowing? No, I didn't. Yeah, the creek was it wasn't very deep, but it was flowing for the good. first time in six months. Year and a half, two years. No, it was it was a year ago. A year ago it was almost to the bottom of the bridge. Are you talking about Wolf Creek? Or yeah, North, North oh. Wolf Creek. Oh yeah. 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 No, it hasn't been that long. So it was, it was nice. It, it was nice getting the rain. Um, like I said, I'm glad I got this stuff done last night because there's no way I can get the skid loader out there right now. Mm 
There's literally water. I'm going to have to, I got to build a drag that I can hook behind the skid loader and just drive it back and forth to level, level you everything. I might check with Chris. He might have one. Yeah, he might. He might. I'll do that. But, uh, so what else we, what else we got going on? Uh, we lost, we lost, we possibly lost a bunch of plants. Um, they are trying to come back, but we, the greenhouse was not my friend today either. So I'm well, I, the, the wind. wind the wind caught some stuff and blew stuff all over it. But you had to pick. I picked that up already yeah, twice I had to pick today. It up. I again, picked stuff up, yeah. So oh, and the inside the, the inside of the greenhouse is a mess because we had both both doors open, and the wind was whooping through there and just just threw everything around. But we she had three flats of plants, about a hundred dollars worth. I don't know if they got opened up. I, What's that? Carrie. What's that? Oh my God. Oh, no, no. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys enjoyed them. I had a dream the other night that I cheated on my food plan. I ate one of your amazing cinnamon rolls. Uh, you should have seen this. We chowed down on uh, How many? You left, what, three dozen there? Mm -hmm. And they were good. Something like that. They were good. We brought some home for us, and we brought some home for Hacks, and we brought home some from work. And I had a little bit of Actually, I ate Hacks's because he forgot to take his. And then I had some at work, and I had had I ate cinnamon rolls for a week. I'm not gonna lie, I I lost weight last week. I think. My cinnamon rolls are carnivore. How about that? That's creepy. Do you want me to go check that out? Because there is some. No, it's the store. It's the store. I, it's, I don't think it's just that door, though, babe. Let's <laughs> see. They're either like, let me in. <sighs> Frey, I'm on your way. The dog's here down at my feet. She's very, very offended that I'm moving my chair. Put bacon jam on the cinnamon rolls, yeah. Probably. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. Bacon jam and chili. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be eating a cinnamon roll. I can't quite seem to go back on the phone. Yeah, you know what? It's it's going to be Midwest Preparedness Project. I was kind of worried about that because um, her and Jonathan are staying here. And uh, I've got to figure out what everybody's diet is so I know how to cook. And, but if everybody's, whoa, whoa, whoa. If everybody's whoa, off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Their diets matter, but mine doesn't. I cook for you. I just cook for myself, too. Whether you choose, you have the no, willpower no, no, no. to Don't not eat my food. Do not listen to her. Do not, she does not cook for me anymore. I, when I was on carnivore, she did. But now, she's like, screw you. You're on your own. What'd you get today? What'd you get yesterday? What'd you get the day I before? got the pot roast today, twice. Today you got pot roast? And then I got I got fish and chips for dinner. Right. None of which is healthy for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're not back on the carnivore. But, and no, she treats she, 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 she. me well. No, apparently I'm abusive. So. You, are, you are abusive, but still, I love you. Uh, let's see. What else? You like to keep coming back for more. more what, else, what else did we have going on? Oh, I don't know. Right now, I'm just focused on trying to get ready for Midwest. So the insurance is done. We got all that. So we will be cooking out there. And then, which just, oh, man. Look, I Skane, tell you what, Skane says you don't have to cook for her. What's she going to do? She's bringing her shuffle bread, canned meat, and some cheese. <laughs> I cannot let you eat that. Not in my house. I mean, you can eat it, but I'm going to have to feed you. Just not when she's thing. around skiing. Right. It's just a thing. Or else. But we'll Jonathan's probably going to come Shake in. your fist at her. Jonathan's going to want to make bread and that kind of thing. That's fine. So, make yeah. bread. I know. Uh, he, he likes to. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, no, it, I mean, it's just the refrigerator, like I said, got half of that cleaned out. The top portion, I don't know what I'm going to do. This one? Yeah. It's kind of dirty. It kind of, my God, I've got exploding coke. You Something pull, is going on. You pull everything out and clean because it's too full of but stuff. But it's frozen, so even Because when, you're a hoarder, according to your son. Oh, stop. Don't be that way. And so I pulled the um, veggie tray. Was it the bottom one? The crisper. I pulled that one out, and there's a unit on the back of there that has ice on it. And then up at the very top where the filter is, it has ice on it. So because I think it, I had it packed too full. It is too full of stuff. Okay, so, so I've emptied some of that out, got some stuff out, that kind of thing. So I've done that. 
um, is it, so now there's condensation in there. Right. So is that right? Is that okay? You've got too much stuff in there. So you not need, now you need to pull. If I you dumped a bunch of stuff. Look, there's if, stuff for you to feed the chickens. If you haven't pulled stuff out. I did. Oh, there's still a lot of stuff in there. Once you get everything out, then we can, we can start getting it taken care of. Grab a Cody. Grab a Cody. So, shh, stop talking about the food stuff. I just stopped myself with fried taters and pork chops. Ooh, that sounds good. That yeah. sounds real good. He came in. I was rolling tamales, and he's like, "Hey, he's like, you got dinner." He's like, "What are we having? Tamales?" Oh my god! And I was like, "Nope, you don't get tamales." I, got I cannot fish and believe. Chips. I, I, Lynn, you're on your own, bud. What? Can, can you read that? No, I don't. I don't can't argue with glasses. Angela about being fed. She's worse than my grandma, <laughs> and cooks almost as good. <laughs> almost. Damn you! It's so been a while since you had my. Well, food, she though. has a she has a grandma. It's been a while since you had my food too. So I was making a lot of mistakes in the early days. Uh, Susie spoils me making bread all the time. Yeah, that that uh those carbs in that that homemade bread will kill you. But it's so good. You can always make sourdough. You, you know what the you know what the deal is though. Our ancestors, the the ones that came across the prairie and everything, mm -hmm. they ate a ton of homemade bread. Yep. And why did they not get fat? Because they were working hard, and yeah. Because they it were. It wasn't. It wasn't GMO. Uh, what is that? GMO modified. Yeah, it wasn't GMO modified. I think that's. Well, like I was. Modified. I was thinking that. I was thinking mm -hmm. about that today. Um, well, that's what's happening over in Europe right now. So anybody that can't eat bread, <clears throat> anybody that can't eat bread in the United States, now they can eat it over in Europe. Because it's not genetically modified. That's it. Genetically modified. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Well, and they, it, it wasn't over-processed. Plus, they were out working for eight, ten hours a day. Yeah. You know? And I'll be yeah. honest with you. I, when I can go out there and work for nine or ten hours, I'm extremely happy. I We need to, you need to start buying lotto tickets. <laughs> So that uh, we can win, and I don't have to go to the jail. I hate voluntary taxes. Uh, you know what? It's just it's taxes for stupid people. No, <laughs> nobody ever claimed that we were too terribly smart. You know, I, you know, I have no problem buying a lottery ticket once in a while. You know, for two for two dollars, you get a week's worth of fantasy, and you can dream about everything you're going to do. You 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 waste more money than that buying your your Casey sodas or your coffees or whatever. That does a purpose, though. No, it the doesn't. The lottery does not do a purpose. Yeah, no one leaves hungry from a southern woman. That's right. You're not really a southern woman, though. You're a Cali girl. Mm, which is southern. But no. I, I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, and then I was you, I you was drink, in Tennessee. You drink unsweetened iced tea. I no, you drink unsweetened iced tea, so you are not a southern woman. Why ruin a perfectly good tea? Well, if you were a southern woman, you wouldn't think like that. No, that's not true. There's but, plenty of southern women. That think bless like your that. heart. Bless your heart. Oh yeah, nice try. <laughs> nice try. So, what's the next big festival we got? Midwest. Midwest. Okay, summer's coming. The heat absolutely kills my appetite. The other issue is I have to eat out of my pantry preps. Not all carnival friendly because. It was from home. You know what though? You you gotta you need to eat what's on hand. You need to you need yeah. to make sure you're utilizing what you got. Uh well, here we go. Here, here, there. Cheese. Cheese and grits. Cheese and grits. I ain't gonna lie. I like syrup on my grits every now and then too. Normally, normally it's just pepper. Pepper and butter is the only thing that goes on grits. Uh, see, unsweet tea. Look, you got Skeins, you, got, you, you've you been got multiple me. people. I don't care. You I got don't multiple care. people. I don't care, y'all. No. No, no. Uh, see? Nope. Don't care. But cheesy grits are good. Yes, cheesy grits. But at, at, at the very basic. I, you need to read that. That's where that phone call came a, from. A slab of butter and some pepper and maybe a pinch of salt. A slab of butter. Yeah, like a like a quarter inch slab off a, a off a lot pot. of butter. Well, that's just that's a, that's see. What a real. southern a southern person would translate slab into a lot. Thank no, God. a slab. <laughs> She's a surfer girl. A slab She's a surfer girl. No. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay. Oh so God. Steve, 
Steve is Steve is one of the people that that was helping run the Kiowa Festival, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say this: they did a very good job, didn't they? They did a great. I job. was I was extremely pleased with the way things went. Okay, uh, not sure this comment is allowed, but in it the is. food preservation class in Iowa, Angela asked the class, "Have you ever made bacon?" The lady mm -hmm. next to me asked, "What did you mean?" Of course, I had to laugh. <laughs> no, that's. No, it's it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly Steve. fine. You, and and anybody anybody that does not did not understand that. Well, you know what? Did she ask it out loud, Steve? Serious? Did you? Hear I it? did. I said has I didn't hear her, but I was like, has anybody made bacon? And then walk through. You know, you get your pork belly, and then do this, and it takes ten days, etc. Et did you walk through and the then process? Here's how we can it, etc. Um, apparently, possibly maybe she meant like. Uh, well, apparently you go and. Get it at the store and buy it? Like, I, I don't know. Well, and from what Steve is saying, apparently that is what she thought. I mean, it, the the concept of making your own bacon was uh, strange to her. Interesting. Well, but you know what? I, we got to get back to basics, guys. I mean, this is, we got to do this. Because if you allow the grocery store and the powers that be, if you allow them to control what's in the grocery store, how much you're paying for it and what you can do. Well, well, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, there were a lot of people at Kiowa, just like at Self-Reliance and just like at Kentucky State of Living, mm -hmm. that were brand new to the process. That's true. They were just That's waking true. up and they were they were just the the blinders had come off and they were they were Damn, I brought it. Tamara, no, I actually make it. <laughs> like, I can get the pork belly and make the bacon. And who got you doing it? Give props where it goes. Thank you very much. Oh, you? Yes, I taught he you. He tried it and I didn't like I it. I taught you how to make bacon. No, you, you just, didn't. You just, you just improved on it. Yeah. <laughs> you made it and I didn't like it. It's too much sugar. but um, Well, and too much I, salt, too. The, the, and the recipe that salt. I found, the recipe that I found was way too much yeah so now i've kind of tweaked things and I've, I've got it right which there's there's a video so you can go get my oh, same recipe smoked it. and we no, did we smoke the bacon well we i did one time i'm not sure so i did usually we smoke it but i do believe the one on the video i did in the oven i that think was, i did i thought that was the the can stuff uh yeah, when I was canning. Right, but, but I smoke. Remember the one, the very first one we made here with the, the pork belly. Oh yeah, we, we smoked, smoked that. Yeah, because yeah. we talked that about that so, curing that so and good. smoking and all of that. You know, it's a process. So, um, but yeah, I we had no, a see, lot of people confused. See, you mean they don't make milk cows in the back? Absolutely no, they do not. They do not make the milk cows in, or they do not milk the cows in the back of the store. Yeah, no, y'all, you just <clears throat> don't. I, I would say don't, you know, we can be funny and kind of go back and forth with each other because this is the life we know. But when you have people that have been so consumed in the system and that kind of thing, and they're trying to, to exit it and, you know, find their life, we need to be caring and we need to be sharing, right? Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. so, you know, we need to help them along because we have to bring them back to basics. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I think that's going to be a whole thing. Well, I, I got to figure out that talk. As long as long as we're as long as we're not mocking people, right? And we're just mm -hmm. we're just poking fun and, and and bringing them along for the ride. I think it's okay. I mean, no, because they they. I, I, I think I think people that ask these questions are becoming self-aware well and we and they say all the time there is no stupid question right so you know ask only that stupid question. people and so ask that question because there's probably 10 people around you that want to ask it and don't want yeah to. right and so you know ask it you know so yeah i, I yes we're making we're, we're poking fun but we're not doing it maliciously um there's a lot of people out there that that are just starting their journey mm -hmm. they've got a lot of questions and it's our it's our job to share with them. Um, we're not teaching them. We we are not teachers. We are here to share our experiences. Sure. Uh, you know, and if they have questions, we ask it. We can we can make fun of them. Cameron brought a show hawk. What that cost you, girl? Yeah, the only stupid question <coughs> is the one you don't ask. Right. Well, and my comment before I had a drill instructor that said that there are no stupid questions, only stupid people. 
So that kind of, you know, par parse out what you're going to ask. Uh, Lucy's picking her piggies up next weekend. HG, when I hear there's no stupid questions, I'll take that as a challenge. Absolutely. Tamper paid $200 for the, the show pig. That's a good price. It is. It That's is. a really good price. Hopefully, hopefully after Midwest, we will get to the point where we can... We just got to get the fencing up. Did you see Gypsy was getting ready to go to St. Louis to get some fencing? No, I, I missed that. Yeah, so... Yeah, they're going to go, they're going to go in a, uh, hay, hay round that's been wired up so they can't get out. And I'm just going to drag it every day and let them just work spot after spot. Well, we need to figure that out. We need to get that bought then too. So why don't we, he's going to take the trailer out. Why don't we have him look and see what it costs there? Seems to be a fraction of what it is here. Let's see. Greg said, I, I just, most of our city cousins have, rem have been removed from the food production. Mm -hmm. It really is. It really is good that it's really good that people are interested. It absolutely. Is. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and then and it was good. It was good seeing all these people. And, and that was, if, if you guys go to any of these festivals and you start talking. Have you been in the bacon? No. Been in something. Oh, I, that's some fish I'm saving for later. Gross. <laughs> Actually, it was ketchup. But, uh, you know, if you go to, the, if you go to these festivals, you come to Midwest Preparedness, or you go to any other ones, take, take your time and ask people. First time here, and if they say yes, okay, what what is the thing that you found most interesting? And start the conversation with them and encourage them and, and let them know, you know, there are people out there that are willing to help them. And and we, we all should be willing to help these people. You know. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, anyway, oh, yeah, touch my hat. Uh, so, I don't know, Tamara, the hat's a little big. Hey. My head's a little small, but it's Did great. you say thank you? It, well, stop. I told you not to say anything about stop. the size. Well, I mean, I couldn't help it because I just did that. <laughs> so. You're going to make the poor lady feel bad. No, no, no. No, no. But I really appreciate it. And I, all, I all love up. the fact that it says, and like down here, it says, come, I know, up here. Come and take it, and then down here it says "stand." Uh, I stand with stand Texas. Stand with Texas, and uh, so I really appreciate Te that because we do stand with Texas. Te Texas, Texas is going through a hard time right really now. Really hard time, and we stand with y'all. And I just know that we're here for you. So. Okay, let's talk about some stuff going on in the world. Oh lordy! Oh lordy! Is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, first off, let's talk about her hat's a little big too. Let's talk about Colorado. So the the House and the Senate in Colorado just passed a very erroneous. I, no, I guess it's still it's still in the Senate in Colorado. A very erroneous anti two A bill that goes in direct defiance of what the Supreme Court has said about the Second Amendment. And this is a this is something that's happening across the nation where, where these, these liberal governments are putting these bills out. They're getting smacked down by the courts. Even, even judges appointed by Obama and Clinton are saying, yeah, you, you can't do that. And, and what's, their, what's their reaction? Instead of going, yeah, maybe we should back off, they, uh, they double down. Yeah. Yeah, hey, she, if, if you actually read the bill... Um, I was listening to a couple commentaries on it today. If you actually read the bill, it is it it bans everything. It, it's so amb ambiguous that they can basically decide on their own what they want. You know, but so it, it's just something that's happening across the nation. And and we were talking with people who are in Colorado. We were in a a open carry. It's an open carry state. The sheriff was there, and he was very. He didn't care. I saw people with guns. He did not care. Um, he's a constitutional. He, he's constitutional. But uh, well, and even the police officer, I didn't realize. You realized that when we got pulled over, your gun was literally on the dashboard. Yeah, she enough. had to have seen that. She didn't yeah. say a word. She was too enamored by me to see it. 
I'm just saying. It was the tall value. It was. <laughs> I don't think well, so. it, it was on the opposite side, and there was stuff sitting on yeah. top of it, too. Yeah. No, no, it was on top. But, uh, you know. Tony, so, I think we were, like, this close to going to jail, y'all. <laughs> so there there were, the, you know, there's a lot of things going on in this country that, that we need to be aware of, and, and we need to become involved at, our, at the state and, and county level to make sure it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, the second thing. Well, do you have anything that you saw? Oh, uh, I saw. I mean, okay, hang on a second. We got, we got a discussion going on here that I need to. Okay, try it. Saucy mm -hmm. Brewers. What's his nuts brownie? Batter stout. God, that's a long name for a drink. And Ego sipping cream moonshine and shot glass. Boiler maker style. Sink in and drink. Okay, and then and then. That'd be like a mudslide, wouldn't it? Kinda. I'm and. I'm not a fan of Boilermakers. Uh, now, Flaming Dr. Pre oh, come on. A Boilermaker is is like a gift from God. And only a true alcoholic fully appreciates it. I fully appreciate it. We'll give it to Grumpy. No, it's no, it, it, it fits it's fine. It's so special her. for me. It's so hers. It's mine. I don't want to take her. I don't want to take her hat. Take a lot of crap from me. I do. I know you're right. I do take a lot of crap from you. Stop it. A, a monstrous amount of crap. It's a miracle we've been married as long. No, oh, you did not get your beer. No, I didn't. I did not. Oh my gosh. I was sad for a day too, wasn't I? You were sad. Yankee Watchdog. Like he cried about it. He told yeah. everybody that Yankee, Yankee could make it. Yankee Watchdog was supposed to stop in Del Norte at Three Barrel Brewery and get me a case of burnt toast beer. The water pump went out on his vehicle Thursday. So he texted me and said, I'm not going to make it. And, and it's cool, man. I, You know, it's it would have been nice. It would have been nice. But I'm not going to lie. There was, there was a little piece of me died when he, he texted me that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Karen like cried about it all day. <laughs> I mean, well, hold on a second. Like, and then we get to the hotel. So we get to the hotel on Friday, and he goes, "Okay." He goes, "I I just gotta have beer." And I said, "Well, just remember, go to the liquor stores. Those are the ones that are gonna have the brewers and all that, the craft beers in there." And um, <laughs> so he goes, he goes over there. Oh, well, he asked me. He goes, "What would you like?" And I'm like, "Takati Original." And he's like, what? And, and I, I said, yeah, Takati Original. And he's like, okay, I'll get you a six pack. And I'm like, I don't think you can get me a six pack. I think it I has could've. to be bigger. Was there a six yeah, pack? There was a six but pack. it was more expensive, wasn't it? And no, so, it wasn't more expensive. It cost, it cost one quarter of what the case cost. Hmm. And no, I don't think that's true. And so then um, he comes back with it and he got his beer. And I was like, oh, you bought my Takati. And he was like, I don't know why this is a big deal. I cannot get Takati Original here in Kansas. I have not been able to find it. Well, and if you're and not from Southern California or... or you probably state, don't even know what it is. Well, you, you can't appreciate it. Right. And so um, so he brought me a 24-pack, which I, I have been savoring. And I've been making sure it goes very, very slow. And now he's drinking it. I've had two since we've been back. I know. I had two. But you're going to go through the rest of it. I will now. <laughs> you were going to before. No, I wasn't. Like, now I'm going to have to go hide it somewhere. This is, why I'm, this is why I'm a hoarder, because the, I have to go hide things. That was the like really... Like a squirrel. I've got to stash it. That was the really weird thing of... Uh, see, I find... Yeah, exactly, Cans. I find it hard... I find it hard to believe that you can't... With the amount of Mexicans in Topeka... I, I, maybe I'm not going to the right place, but I've not been able, you can find Takati, but it's not Takati original. I will say this. I will say this about the, the, the stores in, in, in Colorado. So they've got a very big selection, but it's all, it's all the big name. Corona. Brewers. Like you can't Mordello. find, and, and they, they've got it. They, like the one I went to, they had a section for Colorado craft beers, mm -hmm. but they were all the. Big names like right. Brick and Ridge and, and all these other ones. And, Which uh, is the one you ended up getting. But I'm looking for... Colorado's got some of the best microbreweries in the country. Seriously. Oh, Yankee, we, we talked about him, so now he showed up. 
candy yeah. van. I was looking forward to making the delivery the past week in the candy van that had other plans. Yeah. Yes. That happens. If, if you guys have ever seen the candy van, it, it, it lives up to its name. <laughs> the only thing that would make it better, Yankee, is if you took black spray paint and painted free candy on the side of it. Probably get you arrested at some point. Are you are you going to make it out to the uh, Missouri get together like you did last year, or is it a, is it out of the question? I'm still trying to figure out how to get your beer. No, I just I, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting everybody. I like Modelo Negra, but it gives me a headache because you're not drinking enough water with it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have water. That was that was something else that I'd never had happen before when you're in Colorado. Um, yeah, so we're going up to Glen Haven and Essex Park, which is like respectively 7,200 square feet and 7,500 square feet. And I very rarely had al altitude sickness. I had a headache when I woke up Saturday morning. Uh, apparently I was not drinking enough water, but I've never, and it's only like 60, 65. Way higher than what we are here. So they're, no, we're only 900. They're at, no, no, they are at, when they pressure can, they are at 15 PSI. Right. And so, I mean, no, it, it's high. And I well, noticed I know high, but when I got back, I, I was so dehydrated. But I think part of the issue, too, is we didn't cook there. And usually we have the coolers. And the coolers are full of water and iced tea and all that stuff. We weren't drinking. Remember, I needed to get in the truck because the only thing available was Coke and Sprite. And then some Mexican uh, drinks or iced coffee and that kind of thing. And I just don't do that. So... Yeah, best life. You're right. Um, I had a Asahi beer at the top of Mount uh, Mount Fuji one time, and uh, it did me in. And I had a lot of practice at the time. We've Kirk, always done fine in Kirk's Estes and I, Park and Glen Haven. Crooks and I split a split a beer at twelve thousand feet, uh -huh. and it it really affected us. Well, you guys also hiked twelve thousand feet up, so. Well, I, truthfully, it was only seven thousand feet. Okay. When we went down, it was 12,000 feet, and we ended up about 60 miles away from where we are supposed to be. God. Okay, free candy on the side of the van is, is a no-go. Fighting my way through small towns <laughs> isn't a <that> fun time. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, it was, it, it was good. What else we got going on? Oh, uh, the I movie, mm. the movie Civil War. <laughs> Guys, listen, I Mixed wanted, reviews. I love, I love dystopian movies. I love post-apocalyptic movies. I wanted to like this movie and they did a really good job of marketing it and pushing out a positive review of it right up to the time it came out. And a bunch of people that whose opinions I really respect on movies have come out and said it's a piece of garbage. Okay, but you also need to understand, too. So we had people that we talked to this weekend. And they were like, yeah, we went and saw it. The one guy, our neighbor, when we were vending, he was really disturbed by it. And so I think you have to go back to your reviews are going to be different as to who was in the military, well, who has seen this, who has been at war, who has seen what's going to happen, and the people that have not. Because I think no matter what, if you have the people that have not been in war and not seen it, you are going to have well, some people that are shocked and taken back. To, to be fair, I got the impression, Wendy and her husband are really nice people. They were, they were next to us, and they were, they were showing... They were a good compliment to our freeze dryer stuff mm -hmm. because they were showing people what they could do with the freeze dryer. Yeah. They weren't selling anything. They were talking about apple seed and freeze drying. Um, they're relatively new. They're not jaded like we were, like we are. I don't think <laughs> what? we're jaded. Okay. What you're black. You? Come on. You're black pulling people Whatever. in the parking keep lot. Keep going. Keep going. It's like you're getting ready to lose me. I've got another batch of tamales I got to do. So. Well, and it's we're running up over right. an hour. So, so yeah, we need, we need to get it out. But anyway, there. so yeah, but I, you know, a lot of people that I respect are saying the, the movie is and um, Rabbit says, right. It, you know, there's a there's a subtone of, of liberal thinking there. 
Mm. Kind of like that Obama movie. Interesting. Oh, okay. Wow. So more propaganda coming out. Hey, she says there was a guy whose sponsor told him he could never drink half a beer and walk away. Dude went to Bill Street and proved his sponsor wrong uh, more than 20 times in <laughs> Been there, done that. With a sponsor? You're just being No, I'm, because You're I'm, not, being I'm not an alcoholic. I don't <clears throat> go to the meetings. You're just being funny. Okay. Yeah, and Skanks, no, I'm kind of... I don't I'm, know. I think it's propaganda is what I'm getting right now. When it comes out free on Amazon, yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch really? it. Really? Yeah. I thought you were like, no go. I'm, I'm not paying money to go to the theater. Hell no. Oh. But if it comes out... I'm already paying for Amazon, and the only reason we got Amazon Prime is because we we pay yeah, for the free that. shipping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, even if you watch it for free, it's an hour and forty minutes. You can't get it back. Ah, uh, uh, but you know. That bad. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that was how the Obama movie went. It was just Al alcoholics spill their drinks. So just saying, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was the the Obama movie was what that was an hour and a half, wasn't it? An hour and a half, I'll never get back. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. Where'd you watch it? Here. On it's what? It's on. I don't. I can't remember. Was it on Amazon? It was on Amazon or YouTube, one or the other. And so, I just, you know, Big Mike producing a movie just doesn't. Do it for me. Thing is, I watched it and then all of a sudden I felt really bad. Like I was going to die and needed to crawl in a hole because I was white and female. Like I'm not wanted. So, okay. I'm a horrible person. Okay. Number one, I'm going to, I'm going to preface this by saying we should not be watching as much TV and videos as what we watch. We, we need to be out doing better stuff. Tonight, it's super wet outside. And I was waiting for the, the live to start. And so I sat down and I started watching Amazon. Oh, you found a show you were And I about. found a show called The Daily Bread. And it's it's done by a production company called Renaissance Women. So it's a, a it's a woman Renaissance Women. Renaissance Women. It's a it's a female centric show, but it's about an EMP happening. And I, I watched the first episode and a half, and you know I think they did a it. It's kind of shot. It's kind of shot like the the cheap Christian movies. You know, the the production values aren't that good, and the the acting's not the best. But this, the the story's there, and I, I'm probably gonna watch the entire. It's, it's one it's one season, so I'm probably gonna watch all the episodes and see how it turns out. But if if you like that kind of stuff. If you're like me and you like dystopian post-apocalyptic movies, I would I would suggest watching it. What are you laughing at? Which one? Julie. <clears throat> Julie Cook. God help us if Big Mike runs for the next big election, just my opinion. It won't. It's not going to. Big Mike and the Cali Ho 2024. Yeah, it won't. Um, they they I think Democratic Party knows that they're in big trouble right now. They're they're scrambling with us right. and we'll see what happens. But I don't know. They're also stupid, so who knows? Well, but the, hold on a second. They've they've proven there was a there's an election in New Jersey where the Democrat candidate became not eligible because he was in jail. And the the Democrat Party put him on the ballot after all the legal stuff was there and the judge allowed it and he ended up winning. So it's not like there's precedent that they're, they're going to do. Okay. Election prediction. Yeah. Number one, number one, if they allow Trump to be on the, to, to actually be voted for, I'll be really surprised. And if he wins, I'll be even more surprised. Uh, they will do everything they can. You doing tamales? I have to. You went too long. I got to get these out. Oh, she's over there. The pot heated up. She's she's over there pulling tamales out. Uh, you know what, guys? Do you guys have anything you want to talk about before we sign off? Seeing seeing how I lost the better half. I'll be back. I just have no. To you're not. Out. No, you won't. I'm gonna. We're gonna close it down before you get back. Okay. You know, you don't care enough about us. We're not gonna care about you. You want good food? Ouch. Okay. Uh, they're gonna run Joe the way 
that way when they cheat this time they can say he beat him again you know i i'll be honest with you i thought he was a dead man walking and i thought i thought he would be in the ground by now as a martyr but apparently they don't have a better plan um they no, they I ran agree. him. I think they're gonna run him. They ran him and he he won in twenty twenty he won in twenty twenty. Uh why wouldn't they do a repeat? Seriously. Uh the big the big question is uh, are we gonna are we gonna stand by and let it happen again? Uh Tamara, you seen the stuff going on in the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes, I saw that. I find it very interesting. I find it interesting that 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 dwellers in a big city would allow that stuff to go on. What's going on? They closed down the Golden Gate Bridge. For the, what? The Free Palestine people. Oh. The people that are that that the that want to kill all the Jews. Yeah. Want to unalive all. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to say the K word. They want to unalive all the Jews. Ridiculous. You know, I we know how to deal with it. We just need to start doing it that way. And that's one of the. I'm not gonna lie. It's easy for me to sit here and say something like that. Um, when I don't have to deal with them on a daily basis, right? And there's a reason that, that that is the reason why we moved out here. So the worst the worst traffic obstruction I have to deal with is a cow out in the middle of the road. Actually, I take that back. There were there were cut down evergreen trees in the middle of the road today, where the wind caught them and blew them out in the road. But yeah, I I don't have to I don't have to deal with that stuff. Let's see. Anti anti says. Uh, did you actually get your tans at the festival, or is that a spray? Actually, actually, we got we got a lot of sun at Self Reliance. Um, the the sun at sixty five hundred feet is a lot more intense than it is here. But no, we didn't spend a lot of time, so that was that was all uh, that was all Self Reliance festival. Uh, Gregory says. People we've had no matter what. Oh yeah, there's going to be one side or the other that is that goes completely off the off the chain. That there's going to be people going crazy. So we just need to get ready with it. Uh, we had tornadoes today in Iowa and South Dakota. Yeah, that was a little bit north of us. We we got extremely extremely uh, lucky that we didn't we didn't have to deal with that. Skeins, gee, did you see the video talking about the plan to do away with the electoral college? A millionaire from California has been promoting it. Uh, multiple states have already passed laws. So yeah, we're talking. What what Skeins is talking about, and this has been going on. This has been going on for a long time. But that they are they are dumping money into these these states, and uh, what they're doing is they're deciding how the electorates are, are dealt up through the uh, through the popular vote. So there's you have to have. Before it goes into effect, you have to have uh, 38 states, if I remember correctly, to, to be on board with it. Two, two thirds of states, basically. Um, they cannot do it until they, they get, the, but until they get reach that point. But uh, it's it's like the Popular Vote Coalition or something like that. So yeah, they they they've been doing that, but they're making a concerted effort. I think they're up to 20, 21, 22 states now, if I if I remember correctly. You know. Um, Again, this is why we need to we need to teach people about the Constitution and explain to people why it works the way it does and, and get back to the basics. Uh, okay, what else we got going on? Yeah, for them to reach yeah, like thirty eight of our two third two thirds of states legislatures. No, uh, let's see. Uh, we got a few sprinkles and damp. Yeah, the wind blew really hard here today. Put them on a plane for a free flight to Gaza. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It, okay, so here's here's some. Gosh, who was talking about it? Somebody was talking about it. And these people, these people that have the Ukraine flags on their their uh, their profile pics and the, Ooh, the that was in Colorado. The yeah. free Palestine flags. On their on their social media ta uh, things, you know these people did not care one whit about Gaza or the Ukrainians before the media told them so. And they are they are the type of people that 
Um, how do I put this politely? They are easily swayed. They are sheep. They are sheep, and they will they will repeat what they're told. They they will say from the the river to the sea, without any idea of what that means. You know, and in case and in case anybody has any 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 questions about what that means, what it means is is they want to eradicate every single Jew out of the the state of Israel. All right, so. These people and and Rabbit says they are two tools. Yes, they are. They are what what Lennon called the useful tools. Hey, Jane. You know. So, how do we deal with them? You cannot. You cannot change the way these people think. You, you will not change their heart. Their hearts are already made up. The only thing you can do is educate those people around them that that are exposed to it, and let them know what they mean and exactly how vile they are you know and, and let them know let these people know exactly what they're talking about because you know most people are most people are good people most people do not want to be the monster that advocates genocide they do not want to support terrorism but they they don't know the media lies to them propaganda you know youtube censors censors people that are speaking the truth on a regular basis and um you know, we just we just need to be again the hearts of a teacher, and and and, and share experiences and, and share the share people, or, or share the ideas with people. Yeah, yeah, great, absolutely. They they don't know. Uh, any home renovation this summer? Oh yeah, there's always a home renovation going on. We're gonna get the second bedroom finished. Um, after that, it's a matter of getting the materials to start working on the. Uh, the processing kitchen slash you know it's it's a living room right now but it's going to be a, a studio isn't it yeah um we'll have the studio in there and then the processing kitchen and i think we're going to work that wall out so that i can do classes in yeah there. so yeah we're gonna we're gonna build a processing kitchen in the back and, and put it instead of having a living room in there i want to build a, a studio so we can uh up our game on the the video productions Uh, rabbit I can't say any renovations here I still haven't finished the building building this house he's been working out for 12 years oh yeah uh, that that's a that's a common common theme there uh, rabbit you know it's it's an ongoing process okay so Lynn says I disagree human nature is not good that is why there's religion to help us make good put put in a bad situation okay Okay, yes, you are at the, at the very base level. You're talking about the sinful nature of man, the, the, the fallen fallen nature of man. What I'm talking about is beyond that. There, People, how do I put it? People do not want to be perceived as being bad. Um, so they, they will go along. And, and it's our job to create a narrative that is brighter and more hopeful than what the other side is talks about um so when i when i say they they want to be good they they have no idea that they're simple they just know that there's a there's a uh cognitive dissonance going on and it makes them feel bad so they, they want to alleviate that so yeah i know i agree with you 100 percent on the on the the base description of human nature there right that's you're absolutely correct okay uh telling them ahead of time they're going to uh, to fire on them and using slow drones. Oh, talking about talking about Iran. Uh, the only yes, that was that was political theater at one at one level, and the the at another level what it was, and I cannot. Gosh, I can only assume that the that the Iranians are not just dumb as a box of rocks. Although at times that's debatable, um, they gained. A lot of useful intelligence information off of off of that attack, um, and they they caused Israel, the United States, and Jordan and Britain to expend a lot of very expensive ammunition. Uh, the next time the next time they decide to pull something like this off, I would not be surprised if it is not more effective. All right. Oh, let's see here. Gee, 
Your moving meditation videos are great. Uh, very thoughtful, thought-provoking. Keep them coming. So, what do you got there? That's a big tamale. I made them all like that. She said with a smile. <laughs> it's good. How's it taste? I don't know. Masa's good. Is it? Yeah. She's been she's been working. You know, Carrie, I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm not gonna lie. It's it's been hard the last three or four months. It's been hard to come up with homesteading videos. Um, what with the being sick and then with the festival starting. Um, now there's too many videos to do. And these, the the the, the critical thinking videos and the, and the the videos like that are just way easier to do than the homesteading videos. They don't take nearly as long. We do need to get more homesteading videos out. Yeah, we do. And we've been talking. I know she's been saying it for over a year and a half, but she may be actually on board with doing good content, cooking videos, and well, I think we're gonna put regular this, content. We're gonna put that over on Patreon. I think. Skane says that is a freaking she who's, you know, out of context. That sounds really bad. I'm not gonna. I'm just saying. <coughs> Be careful what you say. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but it's just gonna make it worse, so I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a walk around video of my gardening so far this year. Yeah, you know what? I'm I need to do that too. Yeah, I, yeah, I've yeah. actually, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've actually done some some actual homesteading type of stuff this year, and it feels really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do you got anything else you want to talk about? Any? I don't think so. Any black pills you want to cram down people's throats? Come on. I don't think so. Can. So um, the only thing I would say is now's the time to start thinking about with the rain coming in and all that. Make sure you get your chicken gardens done, your livestock gardens and all of that. Make sure you get that in. Um, plenty of pumpkins for deworming and that kind of thing. So get all of those in if you have the livestock in. Um, Go ahead and do that so you're not supporting pharmaceutical companies. God, I can't find my Clyde's slide planners. Uh, I'm going to have to buy some I new ones. I found my planter, the spacer. The the, garden, the gardening by the foot one? Yeah, I think I was going to give that away, but um, it's in there. I found it, and those Clyde's might be in there with it. It's in the outbuilding. Well, if you know where it is, let me know. Yeah. If you guys have never used used a Clyde's garden planner, I, I, I five bucks if you well they used to be five bucks they may be a little bit more now. Um, met him down at the Homestead Expo in, in uh, Marshfield, Missouri. Great guy, you know makes gardening super simple whenever you use his planner. What was that? I'll just say thank you and leave it at that. that. I think I think him and him and. Him and Rabbit were having a conversation. Ah. Okay. Okay. Slide planner. P L A N N E R. Mm -hmm. um, no, you know what? You know what, what Rabbit? Um, that is that is one of those things that I have to keep notes on hand because number one, we changed we we changed zones. Number two, I can er never remember what goes where or what what goes when. I should say. Yeah. Did you put chickens away? No, I didn't. I can go do that. Um, Rabbit Clyde's C L I D or C L Y D E. Yeah, Clyde. Clyde's planner. Yeah. Clyde's slide planner. Yeah, you can find you can find them online. They're seriously yeah. they're cheap. They're they're really inexpensive. Well, it's just that they're not cheap. They're actually pretty well made. They last well, no, I mean not. They're inexpensive. inexpensive so yeah. it mean, it mean I've got my Clyde's them. out. I'm just. Uh, I'm just in such a weird spot right now. I'm not sure I should expand a ton of energy in that direction. Why don't you just come here and do it here? We've got the community garden going anyway. I'm just coming up here, so it makes sense. Just come up and yep. spend a couple days and help plant. Nikki and I would love to help. All right, guys. We are we are running up on an hour and 30 minutes. Uh don't complicate your garden. It's become secondhand if you let it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Super simple is the best way to go. And don't be don't be OCD like me and have to have everything perfect. 
man, that that will derail you quicker than anything. He's like, anytime you see a garden picture and he goes, this is Yoda's experimental garden. And that's because he lets me garden in it. And then he'll go and he starts chopping things. I'm like, no. There are weeds, in, there are weeds in your garden. Dandelions are not weeds. No, no, no. Dandelions there are, there are, are weeds in your garden and it drives me nuts. He so. thinks that some of the herbs look I like am, weeds. I am like, letting it drives you go. me nuts. I am yeah, letting no, you go. So you just, I have my experimental, experimental garden. Okay, guys. You got, you got anything you want to finish on? Uh, no, I would just say, until next time, be at least at least one percent better tomorrow than you were today. And remember, if you if you want to support the channel, the the links to all our affiliate links are, are down below. Uh, the big ones right now, foodforestnursery.com. Mm -hmm. It's it's planting season. You can get good quality plants or trees, rootstock, yeah. at a good price. And the new one is, is the rock pot. You gonna put the links down below? They're in the they're in the description. Oh, gotcha. Okay. They're in the description. Yeah. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and do these things. We would not be promoting them if we did not believe in them and we did not use them. Although when we use them the proper way, they work way better, don't they? <laughs> yes. A la rock pot. <laughs> yes. You know, but uh. We're going to get more information out about Midwest Preparedness Festival. We're going to get more information out about the Missouri meetup down at uh, Palm de Terre. Yeah, at, did you see at, Yankee said he was going to that? Oh, did he? Cool. Yeah, yeah cool. Be there. You know, so hopefully, hopefully anybody that's in the area will be able to see you there. I'm gonna... And that is during powwow, but the kiddos said they were going to help me in the kitchen. So Are they? I do not need you, yes. Awesome. So you can, you have my blessing. You may go. Uh, before we go, Kans wants to know, do you have a tamale video? No, she does yes, not. Yes, I do. You turd, I do too. Yes, Kans, there is a tamale video in there. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Skeins, do I have a tamale video? No, I, you got a chaffle video. I have a tamale video. <laughs> there is a tamale video in there. So, um, I changed some things up in the recipe, though, and... Um, so my recipe is going to be a little bit different, but you'll get the basics of the tamales and, and get those in there. But yes, there M -O -P is a and there. Redneck are going to be here this weekend. We've got your we've got your stuff, so stop by and stop by and grab it, Mossy. Oh, uh, can I get adjusted? I'd love to be adjusted. Like I'm having a hard time sitting, so I'll adjust you. No, I don't want you touching me. Tom can touch me, but you don't touch me. I didn't stop. I don't mean it. That Rabbit, you want to you want to take this one? He is so he is a um, deep tissue manipulator, and I've got some issues going on. The chiropractor is not working, and um, his lovely bride was so worried about me. And she's like, "We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get you fixed." Rib is getting a little bit better, but man, right in that seed, that seed joint, it's just it hurts for sure. God, oh, good. Been, He's going to work on me. Yay. Has it been 22 years, Angela? What? For what? For Midwest Preparedness Festival? No, not that long. Now. Yeah, it has, because we've been going for 17 now, and they, they were doing it no. for... Yeah, they were doing it for five years before we started. No. Oh, that's crazy. 12. No, that's crazy. I think you guys are insane. Hasn't but he just pulled, he pulled it from, he pulled it from uh, the, the calendar. It might have been like a... Uh, no, nope, I ain't touching now. <laughs> I'm on my own. <laughs> All right, guys, listen. Like she said, be 1% better than you were when you woke up this morning. Support the channel. Support each other, more importantly. Yes. Support each other. Build community. Build community. Share your experiences. And go out and pursue a life went for you. Okay, guys, y'all take care. And, and we love you.